This is Grant with Spring Creek Manufacturing and in today's video I'm going to be talking about our drop-in canoe seat. We're going to go over a couple key product features, some product information, and then I'll go ahead and do an install for you here. So I want to make this loud and clear from the beginning of the video that the drop-in seat is not designed as a replacement seat for the bow or the stern of a canoe. It is meant to be a center seat to act as a solo to solo in a tandem canoe that doesn't otherwise have a center seat or to add additional passengers an additional seat to a tandem canoe that does not have seats in the center of the canoe. The drop-in seat is a clamp-on application so there is no bolting necessary, no drilling required. It is quickly added on and in removed but it can also stay on permanently if you so choose to do so. So the drop-in seat comes in two different sizes. We have our standard size here that is 34 inches at its most collapsed point from end to end and can telescope from 34 inches out to 40 inches so it can fit various makes, models, and widths of canoes between 34 and 40 inches wide at the mounting location. The second size we have is our small version which at its most collapsed point is 30 inches from, from end to end and can telescope from 30 out to 34 inches at its, at its widest point. So it's designed that way to fit various makes, models, and widths between 30 and 34 inches at its mounting location. So the drop-in seat clamping hardware that I mentioned earlier with no bolting required is comes it's really simply wrapped as you see here and it's just two carriage bolts two three-point knobs and two C-clamps and as you see here the C-clamps are equipped with a vinyl cap on, end on one of the ends and that's the end that during the install I'll be showing you will go against your canoe that'll prevent any scratching marring or dinging of the canoe and it'll protect the material um, from the clamp here as you tighten it down so a couple of the really popular applications for the drop-in seat are for adding, like I said, uh, an additional passenger to a seat. So if you have a third person that's wanting to go on a trip uh, on a tandem canoe, you can add that third passenger to the center of the canoe. It's also a really popular application for adding young kids to a tandem canoe. So no longer are the days where they have to sit on a pack or on a floatable device um, where their butt gets wet on the, on the floor of the canoe. This gets them up off the ground, it keeps them dry, and they can enjoy the paddle all while sitting in their own seat. So the drop-in seat is only 3.2, a little bit over three pounds between the small and the standard size, but it is very robust and can hold up to 300 pounds, so it's very durable. The framework is entirely constructed out of anodized aluminum, and the seat pad is made out of a strong, durable, tear-resistant ethafoam. So it's very supple and it's very comfortable for those long paddle trips, but it's also very durable where it's not going to tear or break down over time. Just make sure that you take care of it in the off season. You don't want to be leaving it. It is foam. You don't want to leave it out in the elements year round. So we'll go ahead here now and go through the installation process. It's really simple. Okay, so the first step in installing the drop-in seat is to seat the carriage bolts on the ends of the drop-in. You'll see here the hardware comes bundled with your two carriage bolts, your two three-point knobs, which can be set aside for later, and your two C-clamps, which can also be set aside for later. So the point in seating the carriage bolts and why we recommend doing this is so that as you're tightening those knobs down, if this isn't seated on the end, it would want to freely spin so it doesn't allow you to get as, as tight of a grip on it. And so by seating it, it'll hold that bolt in place so that you're only able to tighten the threads and it's not able to counter spin on you. So as you see, the ends of the drop-in have a square hole in them. And so that is meant so that the square neck of the carriage bolt can be seated in there. So you'll want to start by taking the threaded end from outside to in and putting that and lining it up with the square hole. Also the only tool that you'll need for the install for this or for the seating of the carriage bolts is just a hammer or a mallet. And so once you have that lined up you just grab onto the threads on the inside and button in and then you'll just flip the seat around take your other carriage bolt 
Repeat on the other side. Once it's done, you'll see it'll sit flush on the outside and you'll have the threaded pieces sticking through to the inside of the seat ready for your clamps and then for your knobs to be, to be threaded on. So we'll go ahead and put this onto a canoe here now and show you those steps. Okay, so we're at the canoe here. We're going to be installing the drop-in seat. We've got our two C-clamps and our two three-point knobs that we set aside from earlier when we were setting the carriage bolts into the ends of the drop-in. Where we're mounting this seat on this canoe, it's 37 inches, so we're using the standard size drop-in seat. To start, you'll want to set the ends of the drop-in on the canoe gunnels and extend it out so that it fits the width. Once you've got each side resting on the top of the gunnels, you can then take your seat pad and slide it so that it's centered to your desired location, and then you'll start to assemble the clamps. We'll be installing the C-clamps. You see here the carriage bolt threads are sticking out through the end of the drop-in from what we seated earlier. So you'll take your C-clamp, the vinyl cap end down, the threads on the carriage bolt will go through the hole on the clamp, and you'll take your three-point knob and thread it down until tight. You'll feel it start to grab and then you repeat on the other side. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd please like and subscribe to stay up to date on all new product launches, new videos, any sales going on, deals, specials, things like that. Otherwise, if you have any questions for us on this product or any of our other products in our product line, please give us a call at 218-735-8719 or visit us on the web at springcreek.com.